During the reign of Song Huizong, the new Zhen Tatars invaded China and brought calamity to the Chinese people. Prime Minister Jing Gui waged a private war of his own against the loyal and righteous among the officialdom, making China a country of bandits and outlaws. and you call yourself robbers. to say. Come on with it now. You don't have to be afraid of speaking if you... You don't have anything to be afraid of if you're doing the right thing. Oh? You won't kill us then? <laughs> we used to be Minister Liang's bodyguards. Prime Minister Jin Kuei had made this country a hideous inferno. Even His Majesty doesn't realize how his people are suffering. Minister Yang was fed up and wanted to tell His Majesty. But Jin Kuei destroyed his memorial and framed him instead. Minister Yang had to but retire. After he retired, that bastard Jin Kuei wouldn't stop pushing him and finally forced him to hang himself. And that's why you became robbers. We had no other choice. This shall be enough to cover your small travel expenses. Leave the capital, go somewhere else. Oh, Mr. Uh, God bless you all. And don't let Minister Liang die in distress. May I ask your name? Righteousness brings longevity. Mister, you've been kind. Hope I can repay you someday.
Prime Minister! Solo here. Yes. Shaglong! Your Highness, I have trained the men of archers. They're all the best. Very good. Let them shoot. Yes. to assassinate me? <laughs> I wouldn't dare. Arrest him! spear had been pointed at me, I would have been dead. Hmm. Shano, let him stay in your troop and train him. Your Highness, I... I... Hmm? Speak up! Yes! I 
have done it. What do you mean by that? You're here for something. Don't tell me you're not loyal to that prime minister. To understand what I mean, just hear what I say. To be here doesn't mean to serve. General Zhang. Wesley. True. Hmm. He's but a privy councillor. How dare he do that? He's been against the peace talk. He even went to His Majesty. The peace talk is the most important thing. Your Highness has worked hard, which unworthy officials like him find it hard to appreciate. That's why people like Wang Shu, Yue Fei, and Han Shizhong have to go in the first place, or will fail. Whom does your highness wish to kill first? Privy Councillor Wang Shu and his family. Move, move, move. let's go, come on, move. Move, 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 move. Wancho, you know what this is about? What have I done? Shang Lung, you came here by force and made such havoc. What are you, what are you doing? Hmm. You're about to die, so just shut up. A loyal subject is never afraid of dying. What loyal subject? A loyal subject? Doesn't accrues the Prime Minister. Shang, don't tell me a loyal subject should go and flatter Jin Gui. Yeah. The Prime Minister serves the country. Hmm. Jin Gui has been bought by the New Jun Tartars. Shang Long, shame on you. Ma! Ma! Go! Shut up! Ma! Get going! Let me go! Quiet. Shut Ma! up! My child. Let me go! Mom, what's wrong? My child, don't be afraid. He's not a bad man. Is everyone here? All 25 of them. Do it. Shalom, I'll die for what I've done. Just kill me. It has nothing to do with these people who wouldn't even dare to kill a mosquito! Traitors should die. And that means you too. No! 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 Please look at my child! you tell him to go to His Highness and stay there? Aren't you plotting against His Highness? Huh. I've never seen this person. He's a man of justice and righteousness. I admire such a man. Don't give me that shit. Huh. Ah! My husband! My husband! Oh, 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 Madam, you're evil.
my brother's place. Who is it? It's past midnight. Brother, it's me, Zixi. Brother, when did you get into town? How's mom and dad? Close the door first. Let's talk later. Why are you in such a hurry? What's happened? It's a long story. Sister -in -law. Brother, you've been an officer. And who's this? He's the son of Privy Councilor Wang Shu. Oh. oh, I've heard Wang Shu is a very good official. He sure was. He said he was a loyal man and not afraid of dying. Brother, I've got to get out of town. Brother, what exactly is the matter? Why do you have to leave so quickly? Look, look at my uniform. Yeah. How did you get into that uniform? Mom and Dad knew that Sister was pregnant, so they wanted me to come and see you. When I passed the base, I heard Zhang Gui was going to send troops. I got curious and went there. But, but this man, Shang Long, discovered me and took me for an assassin. I showed him my gongfu, Fu, and that stupid Zhang Gui <laughs> wanted me to stay in Shang Long's troops. I couldn't go out at all. It was like a jail. Tonight, Shang Long brought me to this boy's home. And then I knew what the whole thing was about. What thing? He wanted to kill his family. Huh? Ah. Oh, you wouldn't possibly want to kill anyone for Jing Gui, of course. That's why I rescued this child and got away. What has happened to the Privy Council now? I don't know. Maybe... Huh? Maybe what, uncle? Sister-in-law. Would you give me some of brother's clothes? Sure. It's late the night. Please hurry. Come on, please hurry. Brother, you're going away with this boy, and the way ahead may be very hard. Take this carriage with you. It's foldable. It also comes in handy. What do you use it for? I made it for my unborn child. You could have a nephew in the future. Thank you, brother and sister-in-law. There's something I must ask you. Brother, just say what's on your mind. Mom and dad are all alone now. I hope you can take care of them. Talk to mommy and daddy, and I'll leave it all to you, brother and sister. Hey! Open the door! 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 Open the Where's the man who's in this uniform? I don't know. Don't know. I don't know. Book him. Book him. Let's go. Let's go. Search the entire place. Hold it. Who are you? I want to leave. What the hell are you? <laughs> I'm a man. And that's a thing. Move. Restlessly for days. There must be something bothering you. Hmm. Hmm. His Highness has written a letter to the Tatar King for peace. That letter has disappeared. 
If his majesty got it, it's gonna be mighty hot for his highness. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I can help. I'll go disguise myself and get close to them. Hmm. <laughs> Don't you worry about anything. Maybe this is the only way to know what has happened. The rebels are all tough guys. I'd be worried about you. <laughs> I'm willing to do anything since I'm married to you. I would gladly do it, even if it means death. boy, your dad is a very fine man. God will surely give you a bright future. He's not my dad. Quiet. Hmm? Let me ask you, do you remember the poem I taught you? Yes. Running water, flying birds, a silent prince. Right. You have to appreciate the scenery. You should talk less and look more. Oh. I won't talk there. <laughs> Little child, you have such a good memory. Shh. No one would think you're dumb if you didn't talk. Running water, flying birds, a silence breeze. Okay, bring the boat's coming in. The boat's coming in. Slowly now, slowly ready now. Ready to prepare it all there. Use a hand now. Here we go, oh, come, come in, in slow. Watch out there, lady. I'll haul you over. There we go, we're straight up now. That looks pretty good here. Come come on, let, me hand, right hand, let me give you a hand. There we go. Oh, you're lady, so I'll so give you a hand there. Watch out. Right. So, uh, okay. That's my idea of a good way to go. Let's go, more, more, more. Come on. Bring up now, step lightly. Uncle! Mister, where are you heading? Can I go with you and keep you company? I don't want any woman to hang around with us. Mister, then can you just let me know what your name is, please? We don't know if we're ever going to see each other again. Why even... Why even bother tell each other names? Come on, uncle. Let's go. Live alone, this woman. Come on. Uh, I can't hold her around her. Chicken feet on a stick. Get your mom's Don't pull us! Get your big guts, get your big guts, get your big guts, get your big guts, get your big guts. Get your big guts. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, folks! Hey, ladies, we got some fruit here. Okay now? Yes, Uncle. Then why don't you get up? How can I get up without getting it clean? Oh. <laughs>
Huh? Mister, Mister, my God, never thought I'd see you here again. So, so it's you guys. Where are you going to? We, we're going to Hot Huainan. We can be handcraftsmen. We're going to work. Mister, can you tell me what your name is now that we've met? Shang <laughs> Zhiqi. Ah. And he's the son of Wang Shu. That's right. There's been a reward for you two. <laughs> How are you? Nothing. Mr. Shen, I hope to give you whatever help you need. We'll follow you wherever you go. I've got my own duty. You men take care of each other. We have to depart sooner. You guys go first. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. What I did was nothing. Okay, Mr. Shun, take care of yourself. Hmm. Little one, where are you going? Don't you know we could be captured at any time now? I don't care. I want to go home to see Mom and Dad. Not now, little one. Why not? When I say no, I mean no. Have they killed my Mom and Dad, Uncle? I have no idea. You have no idea. Then I must go home. Little one. Thanks to your majesty could never be enough. Since the peace talk was propounded, my countrymen have been against it. The end, however, justifies the means. With my power as the prime minister, I have coped with this situation discreetly. Now that the oppositional body is almost uprooted, I beg your majesty to send a messenger here and discuss our mutual plan of conquering China. Yours respectfully, Jing Gui, prime minister of China. He's a loyal general of China. He's now somewhere near Jiuxian City, fighting the Tartars. Jin Gui is a traitor. What is a traitor? A traitor is a dirty motherfucking son of a bitch. Junior, oh. let's go to Jiuxian City. What for, Uncle? We're going to give this letter to Uncle Yuefei. Then I'll take you back home. Your mom and dad would have done that. Would have done what? Would have done that themselves. Oh. Oh. I'll teach you two more lines. Mm. Down with tyranny, down with Qin Kui. Down with tyranny, down with Qin Kui. Come. Come now, we'll get our carriage. Oh. I'll teach you a few more lines. Mm. Throw away thy rod, throw away thy wrath. Oh my God, almighty God, take thy gentle path. For my heart's desire unto thine is bent. I aspire with urge 
to full consent. Throw it thy rope, throw it the raft. Oh my God, oh mighty God, take the gentle path for my heart's desire. Uh, unto thine is bent, I aspire with the urge to full consent. <laughs> oh, hey, we'll find find this way. Hey, hey, let's hey, toast, let's hey, toast. Let's go get some hey, liquor. Hey, that bastard's a bragger. He even said he could drink a bottle. You believe that, hey? Hey? <laughs> hey? <laughs> he ain't no drinker. Look at that sedan chair coming this way. There might be a pretty girl in there. <laughs> hey. uh, let's take a look. Hey. Wow, hey. it is, hey, a, pretty it pretty is a pretty girl. Hey, hey. hey. Yeah. hey. Come, let's go and have a look. All right. No, no. <clears throat> if you want to go, you, go? you just go ahead. People get hanged for raping girls. I don't want to die. <laughs> you just cover us if anybody should get curious. Let's go. Come on. Virginity to a girl is more important than anything else. She's like a dead man, and so you two will die. <laughs> Shuja, long time no see. How are you? The old days are gone now. Things are different now. If someone has been kind to you, try to repay. If you can't, you should retire. There are things you can forget, and things you can't forget. Hmm. I don't know what you mean. I won't forget what people have done for me. But when I'm kind to other people, I don't try to remember it. If you kill me and turn the boy in now, can you forget it? Can you? The son of a loyal official? Killed? Hmm. Go to hell. I won't let you this time, you ass. So it's you. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Listen to me! Don't tell anybody about it. People might not like your idea. You're not an official anymore.
Have the three of us met on the same day before? <laughs> we better stay away from one another. We see things differently. Listen to me. If you do fight, one will get hurt. So let's just bid farewell. <laughs> Exactly what I have in mind. I won't let him insult me. You go ahead. Next time when you bump into me, you're gonna die for sure. Keep you here to kill people for me. Why the hell did you let him go? Your Highness, I was thinking it was not the kid whom you should kill. Who else then? The rebels. What about Shen Ziqi? He is just a traitor. He's nobody. No need for me to kill him with my precious sword. Hmm. I want you to serve me. I don't want you to be a goddamn hero. I'm absolutely loyal to your Highness. But it's just that I must keep certain rules. You're but a silly good for nothing, idiot. Please forgive me. I served my country. And when I had no other choice, I just I just had to ride the Tartar King for a peace talk. But that letter got stolen and has disappeared. Where is that letter now? Hmm. I'm sure the bastard Wang Shu had given it to his son that night and had it brought out. We should act soon. Send more men and order the whole country to find the letter. Yes. Don't come back to see me till you find the letter. Very well, Your Highness. to help me, mister. How come? Uh, I've killed a man. Oh? <laughs> what happened? Tell me everything in detail. Uh, yes. Ever since that day when we met on the boat, I went to. I say, Zihua, think about it. Who would borrow any money before he works for it first? I'll be very grateful. Grateful? Yes. I really got lucky today, you know. Mr. Lewis is short of workmen. He gave me some money in advance and wanted me to find some men for him. That's why 
I want to eat more and drink today. Good liquor. Sui Hua, I ordered a gold chain especially for you. Come on over. Come on over. I'll put it on for you. What's the matter? Come on, you don't like it? I really can't take this from you. Ah, don't be embarrassed. Come. I think you'd better go back home as soon as possible. There's a famine, all right, but life would be much better there. It won't pay to be bullied like this from strangers. Take this silver here. Here. How can I do that? story? Fine. Uncle! You're the wanted deserter, Shen Chi, and he's a privy counselor's son, Wang Kun. I'm right, am I not? You're Chen Kui's hatchet man. I'm right, am I not? You just go to hell. Fight! <laughs> Before daylight, let's get out of here. Die! <laughs> 
Miss, who are you mourning for here in the road? I mourn for those who died loyally. You sound as if you have other things on your mind. My grandfather used to fight rebels in the country and brought this country into peace. My father served this country with loyalty which maddened the hideous traitor and had him killed. I have wanted to kill the traitor, but I'm alone, so I can't do it. Many would want to kill the traitor. You're not alone at all. Mere words don't count. I don't trust them. Is the person you're protecting Wang Shu's son? But there's nothing we can do about the future. Miss, why did you say that? Where are you going? Jujian City. The police are on your track. They've got your pictures drawn. Better stay on the mountain. I really don't know why you're doing this for. The trip is going to be harder and harder. Once you get killed, my plan will be ruined totally. Who the devil are you? <laughs> Better not talk. We'll just stay quiet on that. Okay. Uncle! Uncle! It's such a fun house. How can no one lives there? Because of tyranny. Everyone must run for their lives. You're still running, you don't understand. Mm -hmm. Stay put, understand? Stay here. Sure, I just stay here. I won't go away. There's no sword. I really did see a sword there. Really. Children aren't allowed to lie. I did not lie. There was a sword. Okay, okay. There he is. He's the one. Come out. What are you hiding there for? Get into the well. Go on. Ah! <laughs> 
said we must go to Chusen City, we must not die. And he wanted us to take care. Then I started to scream. Let's go. Let's go. This guy is really tough. None of the men I've sent went back alive. I've got a small troop of men. I'm afraid I can't do anything. You wanted me to listen to this shit? Please send more men. You can't do anything without an order. What do you mean? An order from His Highness and you wouldn't listen? There's an order. Why are you doing this? You're making it hot for us small officials. I do what I'm ordered to. Uh, okay, okay. Please don't argue about it. I'll hire two top men to do the job. And please stop quarreling. Huh. I won't do it for merit. I'm delighted I don't have to do it myself. Master Tian, take 500 ounces of gold to Villa Royan and get the two masters. Ask them to lay the two men out. Yes, Master. After you, Mr. Chen. Okay. After you. Ah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Ah, <laughs> you do really like to play chess. It's past midnight now, and you're still playing chess over here. <laughs> you wouldn't come here for nothing. What's up this time? Let's have it. A hundred ounces free. For each one killed. <laughs> Dead or alive. Five hundred. Get him out. Hey, wait, 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 wait. around with that shit. We know. Uh, 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 no, 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 no. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll wait for the good news three days from now. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, uh. Brother, how are we going to do it? You go first. Are you and he the guy? 
guys wanted by the police? How about it? I'm right, aren't I? What about my brother? You should have bumped into my brother. Killed by a chain. He's dead. You killed him? He would have killed me if I didn't kill him. If I don't kill you, you're gonna kill me? Hey. <laughs> to kill you. for money. I only need a place to stay. I don't care about that. Let me look at that club. I can't let you see it. And don't ask for anything else. Huh. I know. You're not gonna say anything. I can prove anything. all the time general spare people when you can the good days won't always last you never know general you general you i'm right here Mrs. Zhu, how's the situation now? I've already seen Shen Zhenji. I couldn't see if the boy was carrying anything, though. Oh, then we have to be more careful now. Must not let Shen Zhenji find the letter on the kid before they get to Zhuxian City. Must try to prevent him from seeing it. What are we going to do if Shen Zhenji and Wang Kun get captured? What then? <sighs> I have to leave that to you. Protect Wang Kun. Keep an eye on Shen Zhenji. Once we get the letter, we can prove Qin Kui guilty. I think so too. But sometimes things go differently. Such a hurry. We're going back to His Highness. Got an order from His Highness? A written order? Miss Yun, 
We work in the same residency. That evening, I let you pass without a word. Don't give me that nonsense, Miss Yoon. Let's have it. Have what? The letter by His Highness. The letter by His Highness? To the Tartar King? You'll have to ask His Highness. Miss Yoon, you want me to play it rough, do you? I haven't seen it. What do you want me to give it to you? Hmm? Shen Zhe Qi's... Shen Zhe Qi's got it? Don't know. I'll tell you the truth. Your men in the residency, you know, have been watched by the men I sent. If you don't give me the letter now, I can still ask His Highness to spare you just for this time. Don't try to give me that. One of these days, Jin Kui will have you killed for good. Shang Long, it's not late now. You can still make it up fine. If you want to kill me, kill me! Miss Yoon, you still wouldn't listen? Who has the greatest power in China? Huh. You think Chang Gui can be an emperor? Shang Long, you've become too greedy. You used to be a fine Kung Fu practitioner. I'll kill you today, you goddamn traitor! <coughs> 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 so much for your hate. May I ask your name? I'm called Yun. I work for the Prime Minister. I don't know you at all, Miss Yun. Yet you've saved me so many times. Mm. What can I do for you? You had gone to the residency before. I had talked to you then. Oh? You were in your uniform that day. That's why I didn't want to admit it to you. And you got a letter written by Jing Kuei. I don't want money or anything. I would have given it to you if you'd asked for it. Here, take a look at it. 
Have a look. I would not have treated you like that if I had known you were such a gentleman. Such a gentleman. What do you mean by this? I'm so ashamed. But now is the time. I'd have to tell you about it. Please do tell me about it. Jin Kuei, he has betrayed his majesty, and we have been investigating the matter. But now they've discovered it. I was questioned by Shang Long. I'm afraid those who had been afraid against the peace talk have been killed. And there's been one other thing I have to say. And the other thing I have to say is... Miss, please say it. Your brother and sister-in-law were arrested. I wanted to help, but had no chance. Both of them had died. So did the unborn baby. Brother and sister, I will revenge you. I promise it with my life. This is the way I shall end my own life. Good days won't last. Good days won't last. I want to avenge. Now I've got you two traitors together. Well, well. You still remember this gold chain? It's a woman's chain. I know it. She was in the temple. Uncle! Ah, ah, ah. You like to fool people. Fine. Uncle! You're the wanted deserter Shen Tzu And he's the son of the privy counselor. I'm right. Am I not? You're Chin Gray's hatchet man. Am I right or not? My wife, she died so miserably. I'm going to kill you and have you skinned. Huh. She deserved it. And you should die also. You've killed so many loyal subjects that everyone in the world wants to kill you. You bad guy, where's my mom dead? I killed him. You're an orphan now, but your mom and dad were murdered by him. I went for his highness only. No matter how I'm gonna kill you, I'm gonna bury you. Oh! 
You're gonna use that trick. You've used them up now. <laughs> Down with Ching Gui. Miss, where do we go now? Chushin City. <laughs> <laughs> 